those are the, uh, another reinforcement as to what's happening here between the sisters. Especially verse 8. They're wrestling with each other. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Some Bibles say great struggle, yeah. and other Bibles say wrestle. Oh, I have great struggle. Yeah. Ooh, so a food fight. So, pulling here. Wrestling, so. where did this wrestling start? <clears throat> where did this wrestling start? Well, Jacob. The marriage. Did. Yeah. So, yeah. Jacob didn't. First with Jacob and Esau. Yeah. They wrestled in the womb. And I would say Jacob doesn't <laughs> fight with God yet. Mm -hmm. That's coming well, up. And then they, the two wives are wrestling. Mm -hmm. And then, like Christy said, Jacob wrestles with God later on. So wrestling and struggle, it's the theme of Jacob. He's, he's going to be fighting his whole life. Well, why did my Bible says that um, Rachel gave him the name um, Naphtala, meaning mm -hmm. wrestling, for she said, I am in a fierce contest with my sister, and I am winning. How did she... Uh, well, probably because she uh, Rachel hasn't had the natural birth yet. Her servant had the birth. She had four sons, right? Well, uh, Leah. at this at this point, <coughs> yeah, only, Leah has four. Four. Yeah, she only has one, but she had the child, whereas Rachel's servant had the child. I thought so that's Leah had all saying. four sons. Um, not at this point. I don't think she had um, Reuben, well, Simon, at, Simeon, Simeon, Levi, Dan, Levi, Judah. and Judah. Yeah, but at this point, at verse eight, well, this, I think was, she, back in, uh, was, back in this was back in. That was This was back in twenty nine. It's, it's, it names all four of those. Oh, yeah, then she stopped yeah. having children. Then she stopped having children. <clears throat> and then Rachel <clears throat> says, I'm not having any children. And so then she gave the servant, and then the servant had the, the two children, the two okay. boys. Okay. And then the last yep, that was right. last week. You're right. And then uh, <coughs> Leah decided she wasn't having any more kids, so then she gave her servant girl. You're she's right. She's nine. That's why she's winning. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, and then they still have to win the race because, like you said, when Leah stopped having kids, then she gives her servant over to Jacob. Yada da, yada da, yada da. <laughs> yep, yada yada. Yeah. <laughs> An R rated uh, yeah. TV show. Yeah. Yep, yep. Well, it's kind of funny how <laughs> Rachel was absolutely going to die if she didn't get to have some babies. Well, now she's sick of it already. <coughs> now she's what? She's already sick of it. She doesn't really know if she wants to have any babies. What do you mean? Where do you, Where see, do you that? see that? Isn't that what, it, isn't she's turning her baby business back to the <laughs> servant? Well, the servant had her first oh, the, two babies. The servant has had okay, all the first place. Rachel, Rachel hasn't been able to have children yet. She still hasn't had any she of her hasn't, own. She hasn't been I blessed was, with a child of her own yet. I'm sorry, I was going backwards. <laughs> That's okay. No, but heck, heck, I like that. Uh, that would have been working out. <laughs> Mm. You don't know the players without a scorecard. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you need. We weren't there, so you need a chart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goldie, that's why it's, I, I wrote them down and wrote who the moms were. In order of the okay. Women. And when you see it on paper. Then it makes sense. Then it makes a little more sense. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I'm just trying to go back through here. It's like, okay, when did this change? Yeah, who had what? Who had and who when? when? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'll get my uh, notebook out again. So with all these people... Even though it took nine months, there were four of them. It <coughs> technically, they could have all been very, very close in age. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. If you if you look at uh, the second page of Gary's handout, the significance of the names of the sons of Israel, that's where you get a good order of who came, like Deb did, who came first and who the moms were. Okay. <coughs> Turns out the old slang, "Who's your mama?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> except, except where I grew. Well, we won't put that on camera. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to say that on no, camera. No, no, no. Thank you. It's like, don't. Uh, well, it I know what you were going for. Indiana, so it's Hoosier Daddy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's and we were called Hoosiers. Uh, I'm a Hoosier. I'm an Indiana yeah. girl. So uh, when we lived in Illinois, we said, that's why. That's why people in Indiana are called Hoosiers, because they don't know who's your dad. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> I grew up near. I grew up near Gary. Uh, so. Okay, uh, so 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 back on track. Okay. You guys are just like the kids on Sunday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm part of the problem. Yeah. So um, Leah's servant Zilpa <coughs> bears two sons, and then Leah says, "How happy I am." The woman will call me happy, so she named him Asher. <clears throat> and then during the wheat harvest, what happens in the wheat harvest? Oh, the mandrake. Yes. The mandrake plants. Yes. Can you buy those in a store? They're still in folklore because they're part of uh, what's what's that? <laughs> Harry Potter movies. That's right. You're right. She pulls them out. What are they? What Cheryl Ann was laughing at me as I'm looking up what they are, and she's like, "Really, Mom?" <laughs> <laughs> the Mandrake. Mm -hmm. Well, we all want to know what they are. Yeah. You know, looked like they were pretty important. <laughs> they're, they're, very an, important. they're an aphrodisiac. Yeah. Yes. And that's why Rachel wanted it. Yep. Yes. Mm. But so they were kind of a root of some sort, weren't mm -hmm. they? Yeah. Because somebody showed us pictures. Was that you? Yeah. Yes. They're like it's part supposed of the to look like a, like a guy. Potato? Like a potato. Right. They're, they're, yeah, yeah, they're part of the potato family. Okay. Yeah. You know, on your handout in verse 14, you get into the mm -hmm. mandrake plant. Mm. The root is fork like, like the tuber, but it has a fruit. Yeah, it, it's kind of got like a bulb, and then it's got like two legs coming down. Yeah. It's, the root splits off. Mm. You know, so. Well, it, it's got a good flavor yeah, and that's, aroma that's to the to oriental people, people but not to Europeans. Uh, really? So there's a, there's a difference mm -hmm. in our, our taste buds. Mm -hmm. So do they, do they put it in food or do they make a tea? Or? Well, one doctor back in 1881, he made a wine out of it. Oh, wow. And what he found out is it turn, it's like a narcotic then. Oh. So in small doses, it's like opium. Yeah. It'll agitate you. It's a wine. It's a narcotic. So it's really, really versatile. Oh. But they wanted it for an aphrodisiac because Rachel figured nothing's working, <coughs> so maybe this will work out. Well, it says because they resemble <coughs> the lower part of the human body. <coughs> were therefore superstitiously thought to introduce um, induce pregnancy when eaten. Mm. Yeah. But I like the part that causes sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a direct conflict, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <coughs> One is not going to work no. well with the other, I don't think. Mm. So Rachel sells Jacob to show for how much night. she loves Jacob. She sells Jacob for so she gets some. It's only for a night. Pardon? <laughs> It's only for nine. It's only for nine. <laughs> it's still selling. <laughs> sin is a sin. She's, no. She's she's probably already pregnant at this point anyway, so it's not like it'll matter, right? Well, what I don't <laughs> so like did is you say Rachel sold him. Yeah. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel sold him. Sold Jacob so she can get man the mandrake plant. Okay, totally. But Leah is the one who ended up getting pregnant. Right. Yeah. See, well, and the thing well, is because she said uh, Rachel said to Leah, if you give me a mandrake plant, mm -hmm. I'll give you Jacob. Right. Yeah. So what's, it kind of backfired on her because Leah got pregnant. What's wrong, too, is that the mandrake, it says, has some mystic, uh, magical means. So in other words, she was going, she should have just stopped and prayed. And she didn't. She was still trying to find other ways. Yep. She was being witchcraft, kind of. Yeah, but as we see later in history, it actually does have some some properties to it. Hmm. Oh, so. so Jacob only had four wives. Solomon had over 700. Yeah. Holy wow. wow. And Solomon was good. 700. Wow. That's crazy. Wives and concubines. <laughs> I can't figure out why Reuben. Reuben got I would the be mandrakes. jealous. Hmm? The son. Well, well, and that's why they're always fighting. He was the oldest and he went out and was picking them. Picked them mm -hmm. for his okay. mother. He was picking them for his mother. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Rachel wanted them, so she said, if you'll give me the mandrakes, then I'll give you Jacob for the night. Yep. And then what happens in verse 16? I want 
came home from the field. We said, yeah. Yeah, saying, I bought you. I bought yeah. you with mandrakes. I have right. bought you. Some my Bible says I have hired you. Yeah. yeah. So she hired, has Shirley bought hired him. you with mm -hmm. my son's mandrakes. So Rachel's pimping them out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simple, right? <laughs> Leah must have been praying because God answered her prayers. So. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah. And she became pregnant again. This is, this is and Rachel's <laughs> just left with a bunch of bandrakes right yeah. at this point. Yeah, we don't hear Leah pray, but God, we were told, the Bible tells us, God listened to Leah. Mm -hmm. He must be I shaking his he head does. up there going, you are so dysfunctional. Well, he knows what's going to happen. <laughs> You know, I my son's mandrake. Yeah. And she became pregnant and gave Jacob a fifth son. God has rewarded me for giving my servant to my husband. So she named him Ishar, which sounds like the Hebrew word for reward. Or wages, so, yeah. So once again, we see the names mean something. And then God's really listening to Leah because in verse 19... She gets pregnant again. And unfortunately, we, we see um, how, how sad the problem is with, with Leah and Jacob. Because at this time, she says, this time my husband will treat me with honor. Yeah, I caught that. And he will dwell with me. She wanted him so bad, and he just didn't. Well, back in verse 18, that my Bible says... That, that Leah has said, God has repaid me with this Ishar for giving my slave girl to my husband. So she felt like God had told her or wanted her to give her slave girl to Jacob. Because yeah. she started having babies again. I guess. Yeah. Ruth Ann, you had something else in... Um, Verse 19, no. something additional? <clears throat> on, on 20 it says, Leah, uh, then Leah said, God has endowed me with a good gift. Now my husband will dwell with me oh, because okay. I have bore him a son. <clears throat> okay. So, so she's, she, with every child, she's thinking, with every boy, she's thinking, okay, now he's going to come and stay with me. Right. He's going to live in my tent. Yep. Mm -hmm. She's thinking she's finally going to move him over. He will yeah. live. Yep. Poor Leah. She's still insecure. Yeah, the government would make him live in his own tent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it would have been safer if he did, but... And then Leah gives birth to the daughter, Dinah. And finally, in verse 22... Finally, finally, finally. Well, she must have been praying to. Yeah, she must have. Because my Bible said he listened to her. Speaking of God listened like to her. Remember her. Yeah. 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 Answered her prayers. Yeah, I have yeah. remembered. Yeah. Like and you did. He to her, which is what that's and he listened to her. Earlier. Yeah. And and he these are these are all very different interpretations, because God remembering Rachel means that He put her on the back burner. Right. Now, your guy's Bible word says, God listened to Rachel. That tells us that she prayed. Yeah. Mine so, says answered her prayer. So. Well, this says, then you gave heed. Prayer. And it said heed earlier with uh, Leah also. So, um, oh, okay. In mine too, God, it says God he listened gave, to her. God okay. Yeah, I got heed. both remembered okay. and she listened. And then he said it again, <coughs> it said again about Rachel. God gave heed. Okay. So, to her I, I didn't. Opened her wound. I didn't read the second part of that where it says he listened to her. So maybe she finally did start praying. About time. Yeah. So look how quickly her prayers were answered after she started praying. And it happened quickly because it was God's will. It was God's will that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob would be fruitful, would multiply, and their nations would grow. So they knew it. They just didn't pay attention. I kind of get the feeling on Rachel that <clears throat> she didn't really think she needed God because her husband thought she was the special one. That, that so she be. didn't need him like Leah did. That could be. 
you know, that's always, when we learned about it, that was my feeling that I don't need God if He likes me. And, and isn't that part of the problem of the church in the U.S.? Yes. We've got all this stuff, we've got everything we could ever ask for, we don't need God. Yep. Whereas in third world countries, they've got nothing. Nothing. So, yeah. they're relying on God. Yep. The church there is growing, the church here is shrinking. We've all gotten too big for our britches. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> With stuff. Yep. Well, if Leah's vision, maybe she would depend more on God and Rachel with good eyes. She, yeah. She could see herself. Right. And that's, that's still uh, subject to interpretation, too. Yeah. Because last week we found out that some Bibles said weak eyes, some Bibles said... Uh, sparkling eyes, so we're not even quite sure what that means. But weak would certainly have Leia rely more on God. <coughs> Very good point. You can't see that she doesn't have vision, though, so it's got to be weak, as in just not, not attractive-looking eyes. Yeah. <coughs> so I mean, you can't look at some. I can't look at you and say you can't see. Right. So. Just be weak would have to be not attractive. Yeah. We get other versions called them soft eyes, <coughs> like tender eyes. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And if you go by that version, maybe her eyes were her best feature. Could be. She had beautiful call. eyes and yeah, I've got not much else. And Rachel somewhere. had the whole okay. package. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And even the Hebrew, they weren't quite sure what the word meant. So um, maybe the translators, when they looked at it and they figured, okay, Jacob went after Rachel. She must be something special, and Leah must not be. So that's, I'm sure their opinions came into the translation, too. <clears throat> and finally, Jacob gets fed up in verse 25. No, he's got his son by Rachel. <laughs> Oh, there you go, yeah. Rachel's finally giving him a son. So he can finally <coughs> leave. So Jacob finally wants to go. Why does Jacob want to go? Because it's time for him to make for his own family. Mm -hmm. He's been there 14 years or more. 20 years. 20 years. 20 well, years. Actually, this one well, the last been one. there 14 because yeah. he still serves another six. He still serves six. another six for the flocks. flocks. Right. Yeah. So this says right after Jacob, or Joseph was born, <coughs> he wanted to go yeah. home. And I think Ruth Ann hit it on the head. Right now he has no assets. <laughs> he's, just a, he's just a hired <coughs> hand looking for his father-in-law. And his family is growing. His family uh, yeah. is growing. Totally. Huge. Uh, And all boys. Uh, the latter yep. part of first yeah. Oh, right. oh, yeah, that's but right. Now, Sorry. shall I provide for my own household also? Mm -hmm. So, he said to him, and I've given you everything. I've worked for you hard. And you've got all your sheep and cattle and everything. Now I need to provide for my own yep. household. <coughs> and what does Laban say in verse 27? He wants him to stay. Right. Mm-hmm. He's learned it's because the Lord is blessing him right. because Jacob is, is there. there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. He says, just name your wages. I will be glad to pay them. Uh -huh. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to yeah. Don't listen to <laughs> Yeah. I need you here, Laban says. Because right. <laughs> like Deb said, all the blessings that Laban has are because of Jacob. Mm -hmm. he didn't, Laban hasn't done anything. <clears throat> well, other than swindle him. <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. From day one, <laughs> and he continues on. Yeah, when, yep. when Laban, when when Laban, um, or when Jacob wanted Rachel, he didn't. Didn't Jacob was the one that offered to work for the seven years for mm -hmm. Rachel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when he found out he got Leah instead of Rachel, then he offered to work yes. another seven years. Yep. Yes. For Rachel. Right. And Where's now then, the coming up, he's offering to work another. Mm -hmm. How many years for the flocks? Because he's got a plan. Well, yeah. And but now Jacob's finally got a clue. Laban has been Laban saying, "Name about. your wage, name your wage." Mm -hmm. Well, could Jacob have named a wage in there, and Laban would have paid him a wage? 
But you see, it's, that's what that's what they did eventually. He mm -hmm. did name a wage. He said, "Just let me go, let me walk through and just take the bad flock. Just let me take the colored flock." And so then Laban goes with his sons and takes them all. Okay, have it your way. We'll do that. And then he goes out in the middle of the night and takes all of those flock. So there's nothing left for him to have. So he has to stay and work longer. He he stays the extra six years to build up the flock mm -hmm. because Jacob knows that he's got nothing right now. He had his wage, probably even his wages, because he got paid in, in wives. But now he's trying to build up some assets, and he sees his building up the flock, those are going to be his assets. Kind of hard in the scorecard to see who's deceiving who, right? For a while here. Yeah. They are all yeah. deceivers. So, oh, so gosh. far, yeah. so far, Laban's been the deceiver. And that could be part of Jacob getting paid back for deceiving um, Esau. Esau. Yeah. But now Jacob's got a plan. He comes up with this plan. He'll take all the, the speckled, spotted, or dark colored lambs. Because those, are, those aren't considered good. But then like Ruth Ann says, Laban's going to fix Jacob. How are you going to create speckled and spotted and black lambs without any breeding stock? So Laban figures he's going to steal him away again. Now did did Laban or Laban take the flock? Now my Bible says so that very day Laban went out and formed a flock for Jacob of all the male goats that were ringed and spotted and the females that were speckled and spotted with white patches and all the black sheep. He gave them to Jacob's sons to take them three days distance. And then Jacob stayed to care. So did Laban give them to Jacob's son to mm -hmm. take and care? I, this, this is in direct conflict with yeah. what I'm reading other places. Yeah, see, my Bible says, and this is in verse 35, yeah, uh, that's, last mm -hmm. part of verse 35. Yeah. And he placed them in the care of his sons. So Laban took all the breeding stock away and put them in the care of Laban's sons. Well, see, that's not the way mine was reading, so I was getting a little bit wow. confused there as to why and Laban... And actually says Jacob. Huh? Yours actually says Jacob. It says, and all of the black sheep, he gave them to Jacob's sons mm -hmm. to take yeah. them three days distance. And Jacob stayed and cared for the flock. And that's when Jacob decided to make the streaks on the uh, shoots from the poplar and almond trees. And... Mine just says in care of his sons. Mine says his sons also. So I don't know which one. Yeah, and mine says Jacob's. It says Jacob's sons. So yeah. then I was trying to figure out where was uh, Laban's deceit there. You yeah. know? No, it's, I think that that's a mistake. Because in every, every commentary says um, that <coughs> this is where Laban tried to deceive uh, Jacob again by taking the breeding stock away. Okay. Does anybody else have Laban's sons? Yeah. I have his sons. I have it, his it sons. It doesn't say. It just yeah. says his sons. I thought it was kind of strange. Names weren't given to Laban's sons, other than yep. sons. Yeah. Yeah. Because and usually when when we see that in the Bible, it means it's not important. Whereas.